Like so, idle Fred in the belly. Give me a hell yeah! What's going on, boys? Yes, dude. Thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, this is my co-host of the day, JB. JB, idle friend, sir. If for people that may not know you, could you please properly introduce yourself? Let me know whereabouts in the world you're kicking it at the moment. Plug or promote anything you'd like. Can you hear me? So my name's oh. uh, yeah 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 I can hear everything. My name's Matt. I rap under the name Idle Friend. I'm from a. What you're from? Where? I'm from a little town in uh, Florida called Mazaric Town. Okay. And uh, what's all what's all your uh, your social media handles so everybody knows where to go follow you? So uh, all my handles. Idle Friend Music. At, at Idle Friend Music. All right, cool. Hell yeah. Dude, I think the first song we ever heard of yours was A Garden. And I think A Garden still is one of my favorite ones. I really enjoy the like clean singing section that comes in on the second half of it. Is that you singing or who is that actually doing the singing on, on the second half of A Garden? No, the... The, that's Brian Watkins. He's a buddy of mine. Hell yeah. I really, really enjoy that one for sure. Dude, uh, what have you been up to? How, how's 2022 been? What's What you been up to? Are you, are you still playing shows on a regular basis? I know you're going out to the club or something tonight. Uh, what? How is life? Um, give me one second because I'm having a really bad echo. I can tell there's some uh, kind of like delay or something going on because it, it seems like it's taking a couple you seconds. You know what? You might have to mute the stream on Twitch. Yeah, that's what it is. Mute this. Mute the Twitch stream. Okay, hold on. Because there's like an eight second delay. I'll tell you what. Let's go ahead and just play a garden real quick so we can get a sample of what uh what we're talking about here. Yeah, that, that's one of my favorites. One of the old ones right there. Did you get the echo to? Oh yeah. To disappear? Yeah, I got it. I got it. Okay, yeah, because now it's it, was, it seemed like there was like a delay. We were like, "Oh, what's up, dude?" And you just be like, "I forgot I had Twitch open in the background." <laughs> hey, <laughs> it was like a really long delay. I, I'm a really. I told you, I'm not a smart person. You're very smart. You're, you're fantastic, brother. Don't say that. Uh, so, so on not so seasonal depression versus a graveyard, a garden. Is there? Did you use the same producer or who'd you go to? Uh, I used the same no actually i didn't i i used um anno domini nation for a graveyard or garden and i use low-key beats for all of not so seasonal depression and if you have not heard of low-key beats that dude is absolutely fire and his exclusives are super cheap if you're a rapper and you're on a budget go talk to that man like exclusives are only 300 bucks or something. It's ridiculous. I know that when I've seen some of your posts before, you've you've made comments about how other MCs use like backing tracks. Now if someone goes and sees yes. in, go someone goes and sees your show, you are anti backing tracks. Obviously the beats playing, but you you like to project all your vocals. 100% anti vocal rapper. Like I hate when people rap over their vocals. I feel like sometimes when when other artists do, they tend to get a little lazy, and you gotta be you gotta be on your tippy toes if if you don't have the backing ones. I get like hooks, I really do, because sometimes you gotta like harmonize and do some cool shit, which I completely understand. But there's dude, I went to this show not too long ago, and there were five dudes who rapped over their band camp links. And they were off time. So it just sounded like a jumbled mess of words that you couldn't understand. And it was awful. <laughs> and there are so many people who do that. that it's just like, it's painful to me. JB, uh, what question do you have for Matt? Yo, Matt, uh, it's a pleasure to meet you. I'm, I'm a fan Pleasure to meet you too. Thank uh, you. I'm, I'm also a, uh, a fellow hip hop artist. And I, 
it inspires me. And I, I got a question. I haven't been able to see you have the pleasure of seeing you live. Do you rap? Um, do you rap kind of just like, um, how would I put it? Just you, um, on the track or do you have backing tracks or how do you, how do you perform? It's me and my laptop. I plug my laptop into the PA. I play the beat and I rap over it. Amazing. I love that. Just keep keeping it, keeping it nice and raw right there. You know, I and, love the raw, and that's that's why I don't put a lot of vocal like effects. Like I want my recordings to sound like what they're gonna sound like live. Let's go way back. Way, way back. Way back. Matt, you're 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 yay high. You're yay high tall. This song comes <laughs> on. This dude's rapping, and you go, "I want to do that." Who was that? What album or song was it? Sage Francis Personal Journals. Wow, actual legit lyrical rapper right there. Good call. Sage yep. Francis is legit underground. Hell yeah. So so did have then, you Then I got into Aesop Rock and it was all over. Yeah. I see I I get your style now. Underground underground hip hop legends right there. What song what song off of Not So Seasonal would you like us to to play that we haven't Excuse me, that we haven't uh... jammed? Let's do introvert because I really like that one because I, I wrote it because one of my big problems is that I like to hide behind metaphors and I'm not very straightforward. So I just said, you know what, I'm going to write a song about it and I'm just going to be straightforward and tell people like, hey, I'm a liar <laughs> and <laughs> you probably shouldn't listen to me, but I'm going to try to be better. So before we play it, uh, we did we did talk a little bit about doing the uh, the trivia part. I know you say you don't have any hot sauce, and that's okay. But you get to pick the trivia topic. What movie or TV show have you seen the most? Where if I ask you trivia on this movie or TV show, you will not get it wrong. I will not get it wrong. I'll give you a second to think about it. We'll play. We'll play introvert. Some clarity if I was so Matt, if somebody if somebody's trying to collab with you, they're feeling they're feeling yes. your music. What is the best avenue to go to go about the process to to get a hold of you to uh, send you some tracks or vice versa to to do a collab? Message me on Facebook or Instagram. It's, it's easy. Couldn't be any easier. Just I, I, I'm a really simple guy. I don't even I don't even charge for features. So hell yeah, I think you and JB can make some magic happen. You and JB can make some magic happen for J sure. JB, if you're down, I'm down. Let's do it. I got another homie in chat yeah, right now that uh, that makes dubstep music and is looking for hooks, like vocal hooks. If you're interested in that, okay. he'll probably holler at you too if you're if you're down. Hell yeah! Just hit me up on Instagram or Facebook. Let's blow it up! Give me a hell yeah! Let's go, uh, Matt. Did you pick the the trivia? All right. So I'm an anime nerd. Uh, Darling in the Franks. That heard. is so good. I've never even heard of that. Darling in the Franks? It is my number one anime, like, not even close. Is Darling spelled, like, normal, like, Darling? Do you... Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. and Franks Frank is with two Franks X's, with I see two it. two X's. Okay. Yeah. Okay, give me a second to find some trivia on it. Uh, we'll just I'm throw... still gonna get it wrong, but I fucking love that show. <laughs> Let me let me look it up. Hold up. I'm gonna throw in pause. What is what is pause the acronym for? Uh, post acute withdrawal syndrome. Site I usually use for trivia, which has like millions of trivia topics and movies and TV shows, does not have it. So I have a different okay. site loaded to ask you trivia, but I have to sign up for the site to see the answers. So it has a multiple choice. Oh. So if you give me okay. one of the multiple choices, I'm just going to believe you. Okay. What dose... I'm sorry. What does zero two call high row? Darling. Is that the easiest question ever? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That one doesn't count. <laughs> that one doesn't count. What class of Klaxosaur did Squad 13 first face? That's a harder one. What class of Klaxosaur did Squad 13... I think, I think it was a class C. 
It does not have that as multiple choice. It says Mohorovic, Comrade, Gutenberg, or Super Layman. Oh, see, see, I thought they were... I might be thinking of a different show. I thought they were classified by letter. Uh, I'm off on that one. Did you say Super Layman? That is correct! I have no idea if, you're, if it's right or wrong. <laughs> we're just going to give it to you. We're going to give it to you. Chad is saying Glutenberg is the correct answer. So it landed on Shoei. Uh, me and JB have to consume beer out of a shoe for not being able to stump you. AKA, I, I do it out of a, a sandal. But, uh, dude, what do you, <laughs> Matt, what do you do in your spare time when, when it's not music time? You're not hanging out with family, friends. You're just, you're just chilling. Are you a gamer? Do you what? Well, what do you, what do you do in no, your spare time? I, I sleep. Fair enough. I am a very lazy. You might be able to tell by my music, but I have depression, so sleep is a a very kind thing to me. What is what is something I don't I don't mean to be offensive when I ask this question, but what is something yes. that 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 makes you happy on a sad day? Um. Probably when I word vomit a verse out. That's a good day right there. My, my writing process is really stupid. Um, like, I'll go to write and just can't get anything down. And then I'll just be pacing, like, in an anxious mess. And then I'll just vomit out a 16. And it'll be awesome. JB? Like, the other day, I did two of those at work while I was, like, really upset. So... So at work, you just bust out the phone and the notepad and just, just knock it out? And I, I just dropped two verses, like, no problem. On, on that kind of day, let's say work just ended, you still kind of going over your thought process of, of your flow. Do you rush home, find the perfect beat to match it, and knock it out while it's, like, no, still I already, fresh? I already have the beat. Okay, so you... So you do you jam the beat all day while at work to try to formulate the, the lyrics? So... So what I do is I listen to the beat a couple times and then I turn it off and then write because I don't want to worry too much about syllable counts until it's time to record. Um, once I get into the recording studio and I find myself stumbling over a couple of syllables, then I can start tweaking stuff. But I really want to get what I want to say out before I'm worried too much about that. Interesting. It's, it's, an, it's a a different writing process than I've come across for, for other artists, but whatever works for, for whoever it works for, that's awesome. More power to him. Um, JB, another question or two for Matt. Before, uh, with your writing process, before you go and record it, how long do you spend, um, like just writing this beat or is it just all sp spontaneous? What do you mean? Um, I, I said beat. Uh, sorry about that. When I when it comes to your writing and you have you know the idea to put on this this song, how long do you spend you know maybe just working on this verse or that sixteen? Um, do you do you spend a lot of time on it? Do or do you wait yeah, a period of yeah. time? Okay. I think I understand. I, uh... I think I understand this question, but I'll to like expand on it. Uh, so you so you said you did the you write the sixteen, but you turn the beat off. Is it? Yes. How long do you spend to fit the 16 to the beat? Because you said you don't go by the syllable count. Is it? Does it get tricky trying to figure out how to formulate where everything fits? No. Um, the hard part is just getting the words down. Once I have the words down, this, I can cut syllables and, and chop up the flow so that it fits. It's just getting the words down that makes it really difficult. Okay. Hell yeah. Is there is there a like a, a time or an instance when you've met uh, somebody famous in the business and they've given you just really sound advice that you could share with us? Something that something that just impacted you. You were just like, wow, I appreciate somebody that I look up to giving me some some advice. Um, I mean, it, it's kind of just cliche advice, but I uh, I played two shows with Sadistic and. Um, he just kind of came up to me after my set. Um, it was really cool because I have this song called Epitaph where I get everybody to do crowd participation. And usually everybody that's the touring bands are in the green room, so they're, they're not paying attention. 
but they came out during that song because the whole crowd was just going absolutely nuts. So he just came up to my merch table after the show and he was like, Hey man, keep doing what you're doing. And that's the best advice that I could, uh, <laughs> I could take. Cause I needed to hear that. Oh yeah. That's cool. When, when somebody important does that, let's jam epitaph yeah. live at, at Heartwork Media Co. If, if, if. Do you have any, like, let's say it's 10 minutes to, before going on stage. Do you have any odd rituals or anything that you do? I sit in my car and I have a panic attack. <laughs> so you, so you still get nervous to this day before going on stage. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I'm always nervous. And I think I don't think that's a bad thing because the nervousness turns to excitement the minute I grab the microphone. But before then, I'm like, I'm going to screw up my lyrics. I'm going to forget on stage. And then I get up there and I kill it. So it's... That is awesome. Hell yeah. Dude, uh, let's say all of a sudden a label just gives you the best looking contract in the history of contracts. It comes with a $10 million advance. What's uh, what's some fun toys you're, you're spending on yourself? Like you've earned it. So now you can get this car or this house or... You're going here buying this. What what are you what are you spending your money on? Honestly, I'd buy my mom a house. Uh, I'd buy my girlfriend a house, and then with the rest of it, I'd get a home studio because sometimes it sucks going to the studio. And then after that, I would just kind of chill. Just chill on the other Probably, seven point nine million. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, I'd buy a couple new vests and stuff. But, you know. There you go. Uh, yeah, got to got to get the clean the clean suede <laughs> vest. I'm really not a big spender. Like, for sure. I don't. I don't look at cars and stuff. Like, I might replace my car because it's dented to hell. But is there is there a particular stuff. artist uh, that you've always wanted to collab with that uh, maybe that seven point nine million left over would help make that connection? Sadistic. Sadist. Okay, so so that was a really important show when you get when you guys play together twice. Meaningful yeah. to yourself. Yeah, because we, we were this close to collaborating. I just did not have the funds to do it. Well, hopefully it happens. I really do. Uh, I, mean, I appreciate that. If you, if you, I feel like if you put good karma into the universe, it rewards you in weird weird ways every now and then. So. Um, oh, absolutely. And you're, absolutely. you're a genuinely awesome guy, so I feel like good things will come your way. And, and I hope they continuously come your way. But um, I appreciate that. Matt, we only have time for a couple more. JB, let's do final questions. What's your What's your final question? I'll ask one more. We'll let him go. Uh, in the meantime, while you guys are watching out there, please go on Spotify, search Idle Friend, hit that follow button, support him. My final question is: uh, Do you have any shows coming up um, that we can know about? Uh, I have a show in 2023 in Daytona, Daytona 27th, and then. Um, Unfortunately, right now, I can't talk about my other shows because there's a tour getting built and it's not official yet. You can't give us you can't give us anything. Uh, it's going to be a lot of Florida dates and oh. it's going to be a good time. Like up and down the coast? And all over. Hell yeah. Awesome. Very and cool. And then... Um, I'm hoping that after that I can branch out into different states because I, I'm not going to lie. I saw that um, little festival you put on and there was a part of me that was like, do I have the money to go out there? It was, but, it was a lot of fun, but it was the most work I've ever had in my entire life. And I, well, I can imagine I used to book and just booking local people made me want to jump off a bridge. So, yeah, it was it was a pain in the bum, but uh, it, it was a good it was good vibes, good turnout. Everyone was was really cool. Uh, people ahead of time said you're an idiot. You're there's no way without having backline this you could pull this off. And we had no. That's the thing I'm most proud of is we, the fact that we had two stages and no backline. And literally, we, that's sick. We went five minutes late on one stage all day. That's it. That's it. That's it. What? And That's we, some professional stuff right there. We had, I think we had 17 bands and like 14 DJs. And and we only went five minutes late, but uh, 
Matt, you're, awesome. you're you're awesome, brother. Uh, I know a bunch of people in Florida, so when it's time to to discuss the tour, please message me. Let me know so I can let the appropriate people know in Florida so they can attend and come support you, dude. But you're absolutely awesome. Uh, I've been a fan for a while, and I appreciate you supporting our our show and uh, simultaneously. And I us. always will. I always will. God bless you, sir. Enjoy the God rest of your you evening. Guys. Thank you for hanging out with us. If you guys were watching and you enjoyed uh, Matt's music, please hit the follow button and support him. Ladies and gentlemen, Idol Fred! Give me a hell yeah! I'm going to post this on YouTube later hey, tonight. I'll, I'll, I'll send you the link after it's uh, it's edited and posted on YouTube. Sounds good. Thank Cheers, you so sir. Much. Thank you. Have a good one.